Hey everyone, welcome again to Code with Scalar. So in the previous video, we saw that how can you send HTML and JSON data as a response in your Express application. But in this video, we'll be looking at if you have a whole static website with HTML, CSS, right? If it's a whole static website, how can you send a whole website as a response and you can make your Express application run that for you? Right. So in the previous video, what happened is we saw that uh, we have a method response.write in which we put our HTML and we can see that. But if we have multiple lines of HTML code, if we have a whole complete website uh, built with HTML, so how can we serve that all together? Right. So in this video, we'll be looking at that. So let's get started. So first of all, we will need to take care of our folder structure for this. Right. And we have to create some folders over here. All right. So let's see that. So I'm in this express uh, YouTube folder inside this particular folder what I'll be creating I'll be creating two folders right so just let me open my terminal over here and what I will do is I'll just say make dir that is make directory which will create a folder for you and one folder I will create as source right and then the other folder that I will create will be public. Right? So there are two folders that I have created. One is my public folder, one is my source folder. Now, what I will do is, I'll just take these two uh, JS files, which are basically my server files, and I'll just cut them, and I'll keep them inside this source folder. Right. So these two files are inside my source folder, and inside this public folder, what I will do is, I will create two files. Right. One will be for my HTML and one will be for my CSS. So I'll be do that to see that. So uh, we'll just go over here inside our public folder and inside public, we'll have to create one file that is index.html like that. Right. So this is basically my index.html file and I'll create one folder over here, CSS. Right. And inside the CSS folder, I'll just create one style dot css file so this is how i have created public folder with a css folder and style.css inside it and one integer html so this is my structure of public folder and inside the source folder we have our server files so what i will do is i'll just create one more server file so that we have everything separately right so here we have app.js in which we have discussed all about middlewares routing and all here we have HTML and JSON. Let me create one more file over here and I will just uh, save this as static.js so that we can know that here we are serving a static website, right? So uh, this basically is uh, the structure for our application. Now, what we have to do is, let's see that what method we are going to use to basically send a static website as a response, right? So let's see uh, that method. So this basically is the method, serving static files in Express, right? So here you can see that to serve static files, images, CSS file, JavaScript file, right? HTML file, we can basically use this particular method. And it actually requires root. Root means the directory, uh, basically the directory path, right? Where your website is, right? So we have to pass the root and then we can, uh, you can pass your options. When we'll be using this method, we'll look into that, right? So this is basically your express dot static method and this method will be using to uh, basically send a static website in our response, right? So let's see how can we use this. So let me go back to my code editor and let me just write uh, something in the static.js. So what I will do is I'll just take if, uh, all the code from my app.js and let's just copy all this code there. Right, so I'll just copy this here and let's just remove uh, some part so that we do not need this middleware section over here. So let's not complicate the code. So I'll just remove every middleware code from here. So we do not need this, right? And our rest uh, things can say stay, right? So now what we can do is we have to basically make use of uh, app.static, but how you can use that? So before using that, let's go into our public folder index.html and let's put some elements over here, right? So what I will do, I'll just create, a, I'll just uh, take my boilerplate code. This is the document. I'll just uh, replace this heading with uh, code with scalar, right? I'll just uh, put one h1 element over here. I'll say hello from code with scalar. And 
what I will do is I'll just go into my CSS. I'll just style this a little bit. So I'll just give my H1 a color of blue. Maybe. Right? Let's just give dodge blue. Right. So this is basically the color of my H1 tag. So if you now open this code and if you open it with live server, you'll basically uh, see this particular thing, right? We have not linked the, the CSS. That's why style is not showing. But now what we need to do is we need to serve this entire output in our local host, right? In basically uh, in the 8000 port that we use. So basically what I mean is that we need to serve this code in our express application, with our express application. So how can we do that? Let's see. So let me just close this and let me just go back to my editor. And here what we'll do is here we'll come to static.js. Right? So let's link the CSS file as well over here. So I'll just go over here. I'll say link CSS style sheet style.css. Uh, yeah, that will work. All right, so let's uh, see how we can uh, basically do that. Okay, so here we are in the static.js file, and now what we can do is now we can basically use the method. What was that method? That was basically express.static, and how to use that? So, as we saw that the express.static uh, method it basically takes a path right we have to give the path where our html file relies right so basically we have to give the path first so to give the path to take out the path what i will do is i'll just use my paths module from node.js so if you do not know about the path module of node.js i'll strongly recommend you to go back and check out a video that i created a tutorial that i created on node modules right where i've discussed all about path module fs module child process right os module and all that stuff so uh, you'll be able to get this from there Right. So what I'll do is I'll just say require and I'll just uh, import path, let's require path. And now what we can use is uh, basically we need to take out the path. So I'll say const static path equal to what we need is we basically need this particular public folders path, right? We need this public folders path because inside this folder only our index.html is. Right. So how can we do that? So basically, first of all, if we use dir name, right? So if we use uh, basically underscore underscore dir name, so this dir name will give you the directory path where we are actually right now. So we are inside uh, this particular uh, source folder, right? So if I try and if I console log this dir name. If I console log this dir name and I try to run this uh, static.js, so let me just go and run this for you. So I'll say node mon static.js. So you'll see the port is running and here we have the path. So we have the path of the source folder. But what we need, we need the path of the, basically this uh, public folder, right? So how can we reach there? Let's see that. Right, so now what we have to do is, let me just replace this with static path. So they both are the same thing right now. But now what we want to do is we want to go to this public folder, right? So uh, if you see, let me go into terminal and let me show this to you, right? So if you see that whenever I want to go from this express YouTube to a uh, source folder, so what I can do is I can see the SRC. So I'll go there, right? Now if I want to come back, what I can do is I can do that CD dot dot. So this will take me back to my uh, parent uh, uh, directory right so this is what we have to do so right now we are at source folder and now from here we need to go to this public folder so what can we do is we can use the path module we can say pass.join so that we have the complete path and we can pass directory name and then what we can do is we can basically join this with dot dot slash so that we are at the top and then we can go to public Right, something like that. And now let's open the terminal again. So I'll just say control back tick. So we are at the terminal again and I'll run this code again. So what I will do is I'll just uh, close every terminal from here and I'll just open a fresh terminal. And here from inside the source folder, I'll go to this app.js file and let's run this once again. Node on uh, static.js, we have it, static.js. So here you see port running on 8000 and here you see now we have the part of the public folder. So now we can access this index.html and now the main thing we will go to our static file and here we have to use the method. What method? That is express.static. So this basically is a middleware, right? So use the middleware, you need to use the use method that is app.use. So inside this app.use we'll just pass express. 
dot static and inside this static we'll just pass our static path that's it right and now let's uh, go and let's check our localhost 8000 so we'll say localhost 8000 and now you can see hello from code with scalar all right so you can see the title over here as well the title is code with scalar and this is basically hello from code with scalar style hasn't applied so let's check why it has been okay so we'll need to go to dot slash CSS style.css, right? This will be the style. Now you can see, let me refresh this, and now you see the color has been also changed, right? So, this is how basically what you can do is you can include your CSS and HTML file. So, now you must uh, have already thought about it that here you can place all your HTML code, whatever static website you have built, you can place all your HTML code. In the style.css file, you can place all your style and you can easily serve all of this static website very simply by just these three lines of code. You just need to keep in mind the folder structure and you just need to keep in mind the directory path and your work is done. Right? So this is how you can serve a whole complete HTML website with your Express application. So thank you for watching this video. If you like this video, like the video, subscribe to our channel and do share it with your friends and keep uh, watching our videos. We are coming with more awesome content very, very soon. Right? So see you again then in the next video. Till then, bye-bye. Take care.